Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is this here is what we call an SS2 switch. And the purpose of this switch is when the water backs up in this particular line, this here is the main condensate line that goes to the outside, the water will back up in the pan and it will come out right here about halfway down and this switch as it goes up will shut the unit down. This thing is wired through the thermostat and the red wire coming off the air handler. So basically it breaks the red. That's how this works. I had a customer and he's insistent that this particular SS2 switch doesn't work. The gentleman is pretty ingenious so he goes and grabs this right here, a glass of water. He said, well let's put it in that and just see how it works because I couldn't get the water to stand in here because the drain is draining. Okay. So given the customer's dues, I'm going to take the cup and I'm going to put the flow switch in here. Okay. Now I want you to look closely here. See how the float is actually come up to the top? Now, because this is like a cork or a, a substance, a styrofoam is what this is made out of. Now you actually hear the fan running still. And the fan uh, on these air handlers a lot of times will be 90 seconds, some may be up to 3 minutes. But we'll just wait till this shuts off. The damage that this particular unit done because the drain wasn't blocked is right here. See the floor? He's going to have to replace his hardwood floor. I want you to see how he's got his hardwood floor here and he's got this right here. Yeah. So, the purpose for the SS2 switches are to ensure that you have no mold and mildew, hardwood floor replacement, baseboard replacement. It's a very important, this particular item, no more than it costs, is worth thousands of dollars in repair damages. Alright, I want you to move up closer to the air handler. You hear it running? The answer is no, because the SS2 switch did its job. Now, I want you to notice it's not touching the bottom or nothing. It's, it's, it's doing the job it's supposed to be doing because it is floated up to the top. You see the space? Now, as I pull it out, you're going to see it come on. So, watch this. Okay. Can you hear it? So, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that this unit is working properly. The SS2 switch is working properly. This is a great idea here. I recommend that you guys use this. If you have any questions, just go to jonesairconditioning.com 239-596-5855. If you like this, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.